Alaska is one of the world's most seismically active regions. The Alaska Earthquake Center maintains over a hundred permanent seismic stations, and the state is also currently home to 280 temporary seismic stations of Earthscope's transportable array, funded by the National Science Foundation. It's also home to many smaller seismic experiments, all of which aim to understand regional tectonics and earthquakes. Much of Alaska is remote and inaccessible by road, so installing and maintaining seismic stations is no small feat. Technical staff use helicopters, boats, and other non-traditional forms of transport to get to different stations, and they have to be creative in constructing the stations that house the sensitive seismic instruments, batteries, and additional equipment that keep these stations running year-round without human intervention. But life for a seismic station in remote Alaska is far from lonely. Many animals encounter sites where seismic equipment has been installed, but most avoid these sites after a quick look around. This video, from a motion-triggered sensor camera at a seismic station, shows a coyote, a lynx, and a moose briefly examining the site of the station and then moving on. In contrast, bears, which are found just about everywhere in mainland Alaska, appear to be enticed to visit station sites. This can be problematic, particularly for stations installed in remote areas that are difficult to get to. Bears will remove tarps or other coverings, dig up cables and gearboxes, chew into seismic vaults, and destroy equipment enclosures, which exposes delicate equipment to the elements. More often, they simply rub or scratch on the enclosure, which is a best case scenario. Unfortunately, some stations have been damaged to a degree where they can no longer collect or transmit seismic data. Researchers have compiled evidence of bear damage at station sites, including the types of damage and how remote those stations were. Based on their findings, bear protection measures have been implemented. These include using heavier station boxes, burying cables more deeply, and putting all exterior cables in stronger pipes, and even pouring lysol over enclosures as a deterrent. This was suggested by a local boat captain. Testing strategies like low-powered solar electric fencing has been suggested for future deployments. While these measures will increase the cost of individual site installations, they decrease the amount of valuable time spent doing repairs and reduce the loss of critical scientific data. Earthquakes and bears are part of life in Alaska. Hopefully these new bear security measures will help seismologists collect more data alongside these curious furry residents to learn more about earthquakes and tectonics in this dramatic frontier.